ladies and gentlemen, please. Look, I asked you to settle down. You know why? Because it's Thursday, and I hate Thursdays. I'm trying to give you information. Will you pay some attention to me? I've already taught this assignment. I'm not explaining it for my own benefit. Matt, what do you need? Then don't distract me again. All right, you know what? It sounds to me like all of you want homework tonight. And the thought of having to grade that extra assignment tomorrow made me snap. All right, that's it, sit down. Yeah, I'm flicking the lights at you. Now get yourself a desk, put your butt in a chair, feet on the floor, head up. Pull your earbuds out, put your cell phones away, put a pleasant expression on your face, and accept the gift I'm about to give you. Take out a pen or a pencil, put it in the hand you write with. With the other hand, take out a piece of paper, put it on your desk. Starting in the upper left-hand corner, you're going to fill that sheet of paper word by word, line by line, until the entire page is covered. Yes, both front and back. When you are done, you will quietly pack up your things. Not a sympathetic farewell to your friends that are still writing, and you will leave. Before the bell or after the bell, it makes no difference to me. I'm here till 4. So go through the files in the head, find the one you're passionate about, open it up, sift through it, find the brilliance that is already there and write it down, write it all down, don't edit, just write, trust yourselves, you've got this. And as the final bell rang at the end of my class, I looked around my room and you know what? It was still full of kids writing. It's been five years, no wait, it's been seven years and they haven't stopped yet. They might not be the perfect students in math, but fact, most were surplus from the start, already deemed broken and not worth keeping. They were the ones who cried out too much, ate too much, drank too much, talked too much. I wanted to provide for them a space that was big enough to hold them as they were. So this is for them, who learned how to press ink into paper so deep they could see themselves and print it into the page three inches down. Like newborn stories, they wailed while we said, breathe, you've got this. And this is for those always confused, falling down rabbit holes, lost in mirrors, who found a way to write themselves real again. Mostly through hasty scribblings on the back of college acceptance letters from places far away. And this is for us, who feel like Frankenstein but have dreams of being Romeo, know we are already masterpieces. I have heard that if we can learn to read the mysteries written into scars, we can unlock the secret of flight. To those I've watched take wing, keep going. You deserve this. Use your brilliance as currents to carry you to places where people will remember your name. And this is for that girl who understands that fat is not a fairy tale. Take up your space as magnificent. You could have faked it, but instead you lifted the heart flat, bellied up to the mic and with best foot forward and wrists exposed, opened your mouth and began to conjure images of revelations. Tell us the truth. Let loneliness spill from your pen and talk to us poets, we are listening. We can handle your stories. Make us think about why we blame the bus instead of the people who didn't see it coming. Give us a new perspective on mayonnaise. Teach us how not to be a foster mom to other people's pain. Paint beautiful your obsessions. It's your right as an artist to use the world around you to motivate you. So this is for those who understand how long 10 minutes can feel when there's a blank piece of paper staring at you, but who overcame that fear and started to write anyways. And this is for us who are making the world a better fucking place when writing prompt at a time? Shut up!